Hello friends. Today I am so excited to share this video on the easy DIY plant cloner device with guaranteed success in growing plants from stem cuttings that is called cloning. It's an extremely easy do-it-yourself project and costs no more than $5. And most importantly, it speeds up the rooting process and can produce roots within 7 days. Of course, depending on the plant you choose. We'll show you the shocking results at the end of this episode. All that's coming up. If you're interested in gardening ideas, DIY and experiments, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked. Well, in my previous video titled the 10 tips to cloning plants in water, that is duplicating your plants from stem cuttings in water, we learned many scientific concepts like the nitrogen draining concept and the oxygenation concept. We'll use these simple concepts in building our simple plant cloner device. If you haven't watched that video yet, please find the link to that video here at top right corner of this video and also in the video description. So let's start building this device step by step. Firstly, the things you need are the parts of this cloner device. First and foremost is the chamber that is the container holding water and the cuttings. The dimensions of this chamber depends on how many insertions or how many cuttings you want to insert into this setup. You can choose any opaque container like a rectangular box or even a bucket with a lid or even a small jar, just anything. What I am using here is a 12 by 6 inch glass aquarium. Actually roots develop faster in the dark and it also prevents algae growth in the container. I am using this transparent container for this experiment for recording purpose. Actually I will be covering this with, on all sides with a black cardboard paper like what you are seeing in the video. Well. The next component is the top platform with suspense cuttings into the chamber. You can use a plastic sheet or any tray or simply a styrofoam or thermocol sheet. This platform can also be built in such a way to accommodate net pots to plant seeds or even insert cuttings into it. That will be a 2-in-1 plant cloning device plus a hydroponic chamber for growing plants and seeds. If you want to build a sturdy or a more permanent device, you can use a container like this and make holes and accommodate net pots into it. Net pots are about 1 inch diameter and then you can place your cuttings into the net pot and add some pebbles or clay balls or anything just to hold the cuttings in place properly. We'll build a dedicated hydroponic chamber and discuss on hydroponics, aquaponics and aeroponics in another video some other time. These are actually interesting topics and not so difficult as they sound. For now, I'll show you the simplest form of this plant cloner or the bubbler device and how to construct it easily with various options. Well, the next component you need is the air pump, airline tubes and air stone. Yes, all these are aquarium stuff. This is based on the oxygenation concept. The cuttings require oxygen for rooting. So instead of daily stirring the water by lifting the cuttings as we saw in our previous video, we can make this a hands-free process using this bubbler apparatus. You can use either air stones or even an air stone strip like this, what you are seeing here, as an air bubbler. If you use this strip, a single nozzle pump would be sufficient. You can also use an aquarium sponge filter for a bubbling device. Then to insert cuttings, you can use any hack and make a hole into the top platform. The main idea is to hold the cuttings in place. If you are just using thermocol, you need a thicker sheet and insert cuttings through the hole, otherwise it may not fit snugly. And depending on the top platform, you can choose anything like net pots or plastic foam plugs, neoprene collars and even holders like this. I don't know what these are called, I think they are table grommets. This is just to hold the cuttings in place. If you have any more ideas on this, please share with us in the comment box below the video. Most of these things can be purchased online and I have provided links to purchase some of these in the video description. The simplest one is just a piece of styrofoam with holes into it to insert the cuttings. That's it. Insert your cuttings and then just drop this sheet into the chamber and switch on the air bubbler. Now the time for results and the conclusions. But before that, please do not forget to watch my previous video on the 10 golden tips of cloning like when and how to take proper cuttings and other hacks in my previous video on this related topic. Also, if you have any suggestions or improvisations on this DIY project, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Now, it's time for the results of this experiment and the inferences drawn from it. 
Well, the most surprising part to me was the result on day 5. As you can see on one of the cuttings, that is actually a cutting from the rose plant sucker growth. It has so much potential for rooting and has uh, uh, started rooting in 5 days. Whereas the other two neem cuttings did not start rooting till the 8th day. But this last eranthemum plant cutting has just started rooting. And one most important point is I have never changed the water till the day 8. This is just the same water with the air bubbler continuously switched on and no additional stuff like rooting hormone added. Just drop one aspirin tablet into the container on day 1. That's it. So now the inferences drawn from this experiment. The rooting process is a complex one and depends on many factors like the plant age, plant type, genetics, thickness and hardiness of the branch, pathogens, growing medium like the water or the soil and the oxygen availability around the vicinity of the rooting zone and many other factors. So there we have it folks, please click a thumbs up if you found the video helpful. Also comment below the video with your queries and feedback. Also please share it on social media with your friends. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!